On August the 24th, 2022, the Japanese Prime Minister Kishida announced that Japan will restart idled nuclear plants that have been shut down since 2011. What does this mean for the uranium demand and the price? Japan is an island nation with a population of 125 million people and the third largest economy in the world. Currently, 89% of Japan's electricity is generated from fossil fuels. And because it's very poor in natural resources, it imports most of its fossil fuel from other countries. Prior to Fukushima in 2011, 54 nuclear reactors provided 30% of Japan's electricity and consumed approximately 20 million pounds of uranium annually. Ten years after Fukushima, only five plants, with a total of 10 reactors, provide 6% of Japan's electricity and consume approximately 4 million pounds of uranium. 15 additional reactors have filed for approval to restart. And with the support of the government, these reactors will slowly start coming back online. So what does this mean for uranium demand and the price? Japan has stated it wants to receive 20 to 22 percent of its electricity from nuclear power by 2030. And if they do that, Japan will need approximately 12 million pounds annually, up from its current demand of 4 million pounds. If they move more aggressively to 2010 levels, uranium demand will climb to 20 million pounds a year. In an already tight market that's running at a deficit, uranium prices will only go one way. Significantly higher.